morning and welcome to the Morning Expresso by the Indian Express. My name is Rahil Filipos and here is today's big story. With no arrest yet in the Lakhimpur Kheri incident, farmer leader Rakesh Tikayat has given the UP government a one week deadline to arrest Minister of State and BJP MP Ajay Mishra's son for his alleged involvement in the death of four farmers. In fact, on Tuesday, one of the victim's families even held up cremation, alleging that he had been shot by Mishra's son Ashish. Tikayat said they will gather once again on the day of Bhog, 13 days after the death, to decide future strategy. But how did the government manage to defuse escalating tension in Lakhimpur Khiri? Well, by roping in Tikayat for mediation. Tikayat has learned to have asked the officer coordinating with him from Lucknow to keep away opposition leaders as that would have made convincing and pacifying the farmers a lot harder. And now let's dive right into part 3 of the Indian Express's Pandora Papers investigation. An investigation of records by the Indian Express has found that two former Indian Revenue Services officers, one of whom was arrested for money laundering and corruption and another who served as the Income Tax Chief Commissioner, have Swiss bank accounts. Next up is Niranjan Hiranandani, the founder of Mumbai-based real estate major Hiranandani Group and key members of his family who were found to be beneficiaries of a trust with assets of over $50 million. Niranjan was also the reserve director in at least three firms set up in the British Virgin Islands by his Dubai-based son. Rosie Blue, amongst the largest diamond trading companies in the world, has figured in every offshore leak since the HSBC records in 2015. The Pandora Papers were no exception. Records show a continuing offshore company formation spree in tax havens such as the Cook Islands and in Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Also evident is the rejig of Rosie Blue's assets in tax havens, mostly in the year 2017, soon after the Panama Papers expose. Meanwhile, businessman Tushar Vashish's health and fitness app Healthify Me has been linked to Lang Capital Fund owned by Kirill Androsov, a former aide of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Asia City Trust records show that questions were raised about some of the LCF's transactions to various entities, including Healthify Me Private Limited Singapore, the holding company of Healthify Me Wellness Private Limited. And now here are our stories from the front page. A prominent Kashmiri Pandit businessman who ran two medical stores in Srinagar was amongst three victims of a series of attacks by suspected militants in Jammu and Kashmir. The other two victims were a street vendor in Srinagar who hailed from Bihar and a taxi stand association president in Bandipura. Here are some of our must-reads for the day. Despite the astounding 100% cutoffs, it appears that top courses at premier Delhi University colleges have many takers. But interestingly, a majority of these applicants with perfect scores happen to be from the Kerala State Board. In Hindu College, for instance, a total of 120 admissions for political science were made, of which all but two applicants were from the Kerala Board. Meanwhile, in Ramjas, around 80% of students applying for courses such as BCom honours were also from the southern state. Across blocks in Kalahandi, one of the six Orisha districts affected by left-wing extremism, patchy internet, erratic electricity supply and poor banking penetration have made digital transactions a tedious, long-drawn affair for villagers. In these areas, each bank branch caters to around 200 villagers. In fact, Chief Minister Naveen Patnayak brought up the issue in a recent meeting with Home Minister Amit Shah, asking the centre to improve banking facilities in LWE-affected areas. And finally, for the first time ever, the Nobel Prize for Physics was awarded to three climate scientists. One was awarded jointly to Sukuro Manabe and Klaus Haselman, while another went to Giorgio Parisi for groundbreaking contributions to our understanding of complex systems. We explain why this recognition is significant and break down the seminal studies that won them the prestigious award. And with that, we wrap today's Morning Expresso. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for the latest news updates.